This week's video is about using Photo Patch in Electric Quilt for creating your own block or quilt. I like to call it actually a cheater technique for the drawing challenged quilter. Last week I had posted a couple of blocks that were designed by Evelyn Foland for the Kansas City Star. There was an elephant and a donkey. Someone actually had sent me a note and suggested that maybe with a couple more blocks uh, this could be uh, uh, the start of a very fun kids quilt. And so I thought a little bit uh, about how I would create those blocks. Um, I am not much of a drawer, but I also, and I also wanted to create blocks that were consistent in theme to how Evelyn had designed hers. And in analyzing her block, she had used a lot of uh, squares and half square triangles, so I wanted to do something similar. I'd also been playing in the back of my mind with trying to um, work with uh, the photo patch um, quilt layout in Electric Quilt and decided to combine those two together for today's video. So I am going to start by going to quilt and I want to create a new quilt and in this case I want to do a photo patchwork quilt. And I'll click OK on the help and um, it will open at a standard layout. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to start by importing my image. And I know that this was a giraffe, so I'm going to uh, select that. And you can see sort of the general size and dimension. I'm going to play a bit with the layout here so that the giraffe fits in very nicely. And I can see um, if I go to the layout tab, uh, maybe the first thing I'm going to do is actually change the size of my units to one inch. Um, by one inch and this is actually 23 units across it's uh, the way um, EQ does the counting on this but I'm gonna bring that down so it gets a little bit narrower and I'm gonna go back oh so on the image I want to do it so um, this is so it has an outside fit and actually that looks pretty good. Um, one thing I can do is I can actually do a preview here and I can see you know that's not bad but there's not a lot of detail so one way to add more detail is to uh, frankly add more squares. So I'm going to change this to 36. Taking a look at this it needs to be a little bit wider. So I'm going to go to the layout and I think I'm going to move that to 11. Let's take a look at it now. Okay, so as you can see up here, I'm playing with the position and resizing so I can get uh, my giraffe to fit within the design. Um, if you turn on or off the aspect ratio, it will uh, distort the image. For a giraffe, obviously, I don't want to distort it. I would just want it to fit nicely um, in my space. So I like that. I'm going to go ahead and delete my borders uh, because really what I'm designing is more of a block here. And if I go back to photo and I do a preview, this is uh, what my image looks like. Now you can see that it's going to need a little bit of work, but it's actually not a bad start. Uh, you can see a little bit of the head there, you can see the legs, um, but obviously some more stuff needs to be added in. So. Um, if I go to layer one, one of the first things I need to do is uh, probably reduce the number of um, colors in the quilt. And I had read um, in the EQ help that probably the best way to do this is actually use the random recolor tool and just click on map to colors. And so this will actually map to just colors that are in your sketchbook, which will reduce at least the number um, that, that are on here. So um, I've done that and um, 
I will still reduce the colors um, further, but um, need to do a little bit of work um, first. Okay, so I'm going to close that down. And now what I want to do is, um, I mentioned I also wanted to do some half square triangles. So I'm going to go back and work on block, and this is an easy draw block. And I am just going to create a half square triangle. Um, and I will color it um, probably with uh, maybe white on one side and black on the other. That way it will stand out and I'm going to add that to the sketchbook. Okay, now back to working on my quilt. And now for my half square triangles, because this is photo patch, uh, I can't put this in layer one, but I can definitely put it in layer two. Um, and in layer two, I want to make a couple of changes to my setup to make it a little bit easier to work on. And if I and I'll go to the quilt work table options, and um, for the setting blocks, the first thing I want to do is change that so that they come in at one inch by one inch. And that way, every time I bring a block in, it's going to fit basically into one of those squares. Then um, at the snap settings, I want to um, snap um, the block position to grid. And I also want to have the grid snap every one inch. So make sure that that is clicked to one inch so that um, it, um, it's easy to reposition these. And then click OK. OK, now in layer two, I can set the set a block and I'll go find this block and bring it in and you can see it snaps down to um, to one inch and I can use the resize and bring that down and rotate the block and I'm going to zoom in a bit so we can see what's going on here and you can sort of see all these grays that are out there. Those are probably actually a good place um, to put the half square triangles. And so I like to just do a control C and a control V. Um, it, again, because I've set the snap grids, it's really easy to snap these in place. And you can start um, seeing some more definition um, you know, being created. Um, in my uh, in my giraffe here. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to do some coloring of the giraffe because I've got long strips. Um, I want to actually select this line brush and I'm going to select one of the um, golds here and I can color one of the legs. Now one other option here is to do some of the exchange all fabrics. And I will put some spots on this giraffe, but um, I just wanted to start by filling him in a bit. You can see on layer two is where I have to color the half square triangles, and on layer one, I'm coloring in the squares. So I'm sort of showing how I bent his knee there. And again, going back to doing some coloring. Um, now to do something with that head. I'm going to zoom in. And I probably I'm going to take a little bit of artistic liberty. First of all, I'm going to actually use a different um, um, color just so that I can actually um, tell the difference between um, the body and the head. And I'm going to pull in a few more half square triangles um, because I think I want uh, some ears here. Oh, I tried to put that on layer one and it told me I couldn't do that. 
So then I go to layer two. Let's take a look now and see how my camel is looking, or not my camel, my giraffe. So now what I'm going to do is go and again use the random recolor tool and in this case I'm going to map to fabrics. Okay, I'm starting to like it better um, and now I'm going to zoom in and now I need to start cleaning up some of my fabrics here. You can see I've got a number of different ones where maybe I need to just reduce that. So I'm going to use the swap all colors and I'm going to uh, first use the eyedropper tool and I think I'm going to use that for my white and I'm going to change that and I'm also going to change those ones. If I go to layer two, I'm going to change all my whites to that. So now that's starting to um, look a little bit better. Um, I need to also decide, I don't think I want quite as many greens. Okay, let's zoom out one more time. And again, you can spend a lot of time sort of playing with this and deciding you know, what you want to do in terms of coloring, but I think you've got the general idea. Now, I also, because this is a giraffe, would probably like a few spots in my giraffe. Um, this might be also a good way to add some definition um, between the two legs there. If you did one spot one way and um, one the other, I think you can get again some nice nice definition there. And really um, I'm just doing a couple of fabrics here. Um, you know, fairly random in terms of what this is going to look like. And now if I go to layer two and add some of those half square triangle blocks. I'm going to zoom out again. Okay, I think that looks like a giraffe, so I'm going to add that to my sketchbook. I now have um, a diagram that I could use for piecing with one inch squares. Thanks so much for watching. For additional videos, um, please check out my website at www.onpointquilter.com.